<clears throat> good evening or good morning everybody in today's class we will be discussing corsets according to dictionary.com a corset is a close-fitting undergarment stiffened with whalebone or similar material and often capable of being tightened by lacing it's worn especially by women to shape and support the body and is also commonly referred to as stays or in simpler words aka deb's dictionary a corset is literally the only thing that's been on my mind recently besides Derek morgan and spencer reed from criminal minds now a question that i constantly get in my comments and that i know everybody is desperately wondering in this very moment in time is how can one actually come to style a corset without looking like they just emerged from the regency era i know nobody was actually wondering that but you know play along for the video okay anyway if you've ever worried about styling corsets worry no more because your fashion very godmother who also just happens to have insatiable urges to buy corsets is right here to give you seven looks you could wear with that 30 dollars corset you bought on amazon you may also be wondering you know is this another sad excuse for me to pretend i have my own podcast while also conducting a personal therapy session with myself of course it is <laughs> okay 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 i'm done i swear no more corny jokes i was like why are you so obsessed with me did some research on corsets and the first thing i have to mention is that you're supposed to wear a slip or literally any form of clothing underneath it's honestly for your own benefit to avoid skin irritation and because your sweat can actually degrade the corset and clearly i am not wearing one underneath which i should be but i was changing in and out of seven outfits and honestly i was trying to do the least amount of work because putting on clothes is a form of labor that is not up for argument i honestly find it so exhausting also decided to break the corset rules because wearing them kind of feels like somebody is holding me yeah i I don't know what that's about maybe i'm just like touch starved that i deem any form of contact some sort of intense romantic gesture and the fact that it's coming from an inanimate object is slightly concerning I'm not gonna lie i'm a little concerned for me should we delve into that should i unpack it no we shouldn't absolutely not let's move on <laughs> So we're gonna stray away from the whole corset history for a bit because I just have to talk about this outfit. First thing being that it is literally my favorite look in this entire video. But I'm also like slightly annoyed with myself because when I first tried it on, I was kind of weary because I don't wear skirts very often. And when I first put the outfit together, the first thing I told myself was this doesn't work because this isn't me or it's not my aesthetic. And I feel like we say that so often, like we throw ourselves into these random little categories and it's almost like I'm catering to the aesthetic when really it should be the other way around. Like you decide what works for you, not a bunch of of underlying pinterest principles i don't know i feel like aesthetics are low-key damaging sometimes but i don't really feel like going into that at the moment so i'll stop there but needless to say this was my favorite outfit because it was just ugh, chef's kiss <laughs> So if you're wondering what actually started my obsession with the whole corset thing, it was that Netflix show that I clearly can't shut up about. But it was Bridgerton that kickstarted my downward spiral on my Regency obsession. One thing that I liked about the show was the fact that there was color in it, which actually shocked me because I guess I'm just not really used to the whole proper representation in the media thing. I don't know, it's still a little foreign to me. It's bad though because I began to actually romanticize the era so much that I almost believed that people of color lived like that during those times. Like I really created this false perception of having rights during that time period. Can you believe that? Like I would have literally been on a field. I honestly felt like Elena in that one scene from the Vampire Diaries when she's talking to Stefan about like the early 19th century. Seriously, what was it like the 50s? 
Because in my mind, I have this picture of somewhere between American Bandstand, Greece. It's all varsity sweaters and milkshakes. Well, that and, you know, uh, McCarthyism and segregation and nuclear arms race. Okay, but there were poodle skirts. There were poodle skirts. I honestly don't know how I could be so naive, but I still love the fashion. I can't deny that. Okay, back to Regency, another interesting fact that I learned was that men wore corsets too. I mean, okay, when you think about it, it actually really makes sense, especially looking at those photos. Like, come on, there was no way them boys was that snatched. Like, unless there was some sort of Regency, Chloe Ting, two-week shred I don't know about. So there had to be some sort of clothing hack to have that kind of waist on King Louis III. Also, I have to confess, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at guys in corsets and uh, why was it low-key doing something to me like why was i feeling that second heartbeat i know i'm like definitely oversharing right now but like i was out here looking at photos of guys in corsets and it was low-key doing something to me like i know none of y'all wanted to hear that i probably should go to jail for even making y'all witness me saying that but like tell me that doesn't look good tell me look at me in my face and tell me that does not look good comment what you think like to me i honestly think it looks delicious if i ever get a boyfriend emphasis on the if i will be making him wear my corsets like i'm doing god's work honestly you're welcome Okay, the first thing I thought of in this outfit was Cher from Clueless, which is literally one of my favorite movies ever. Tell me what you guys think though, because I feel like I'm either totally off or at least like kind of onto something with that idea. Cher is honestly my spirit animal. I live through her vicariously, except for the whole making out with your stepbrother thing. That didn't really resonate with me. Let's say one of your parents got remarried to someone who just happened to have a son who also happened to be very attractive. Would y'all bust it open? Because I always think about that whenever I rewatch the movie. I I really don't know. Okay, you know what? Maybe he's wearing a corset. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's a joke. Also, with this outfit, I took off the headband and I put on the beret or barre or whatever. Yeah, it was giving me the French vibes. Very much BB. The beret helped me tune into the Parisian fantasy that I've created in my head, which I guess isn't only in my head anymore since I got to share that wonderful moment with the man just staring outside of my window. Ah oui, la vie est belle, or whatever that perfume says. Anyways, voici the Paris outfit that I'm just unironically wearing 6,000 kilometers away from the city. Okay, I feel like this is not going to be anybody's favorite outfit, but if I were to rank the outfits in this video, this outfit is low-key making the top three, okay? I said what I said. Obviously, we're in a Panzerati, okay? We've been stuck inside quarantining for almost a year now, which is crazy because it does not feel like it whatsoever. I'm not really like a leave my house type of person, and I don't think I ever really was, but it's gotten a lot worse over the last couple of months. It's getting to the point where even the thought of events and like seeing people makes me slightly anxious. And of course, I do eventually plan on going out and wearing the corset, but because it's been so long, I feel like I need to like work up my confidence again. So I honestly feel like this outfit is perfect for that. I'll admit it's not attention grabbing whatsoever, but I think it's a good way to start wearing corsets as like an accent piece. If you're like me, and a little nervous of wearing it aside from an Instagram pictures, then I feel like this would make a really good outfit. Also, it does help that this outfit is really comfortable and if you were to replace my transparent shirt with something more opaque, it would be very appropriate too. Also, I am really big on black on black. Like, I just think it looks so good on boys and girls. Like, it's such a power move. Black on black has just always been attractive to me or just dark things in general, I guess. I guess I'll add that to my list of men and corsets, but yes, I had to do the black on black look, of course.
okay this is the last outfit aka outfit numero set seto how do you say seven in spanish uno dos tres cuatro cinco quince bro never mind anyway <laughs> if you made it this far in the video i literally love you like put your forehead out right now i'm gonna kiss you no other option this outfit is slightly confusing because on the top or above the waist we have the corset over a long sleeve with ruched shoulders which has some clavicle action with a little bit of cleave so it's definitely giving me early 18th century but then below the waist we have a dark wash pair of denim jeans with some pine green jordans and i called it a day i really tried putting a setting or a scenario to this outfit and the way i had it in my head was that i got invited to a royal ball but unfortunately you know whips not up and i had to walk there you know i'm getting my steps in or whatever and that finalizes finalizes who says that and that's the end of my video <laughs> i really hope you guys all enjoyed this comment your favorite outfit comment if you hook up with your stepbrother <laughs> or comment anything i just like reading comments to be completely honest and i will see you in my next week's video bye bye <laughs>